In this video, I'm going to show you how to install these Allen & Roth cordless cellular shades. They look a little something like this. So the first thing you want to do is, is try to get the right size for your window. This is the window I'm putting them on, and I got 34 inch by 64 inch. So there's also two different ways you can install these. You can install them from inside here, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can have them hanging out on the outside. So 34 inches, On the inside, that's pretty much exactly what I have, uh, which is great, but at the same time, I'm still gonna trim it. Reason being is because when I put these in here, they are super tight. So what's gonna end up happening, that's exactly how I want them. I want, these are blackout shades. I want it to be nice and dark when I pull them all the way down, but this is gonna end up rubbing on this trim and expansion and contraction may make it hard to use these and I'll mark this up a whole bunch. So I would say that a good length would be a half inch smaller than this opening. If this is how you are installing them, that would give you a quarter of an inch on each side. So obviously I'm gonna take off a half an inch because these are tight. If you're doing it on the outside, you just have to measure that and get it close and the instructions for cutting it if you have to will be the same but you're not going to have to be as accurate with that in the instructions it does say that you can take off two inches on each side without running into issues um, with these shades so you can take up to four inches off unless they are 23 inch wide shades then you can only take off an inch from each side I'm only taking off a half inch, so I'm just gonna take it off of one side. And if you really wanted to, you could take a quarter inch off of this side and a quarter inch off of the other side. If you don't need to cut these down, you can skip this step. But once you have figured out how wide you want these, one thing that it doesn't show you is to take these little caps off. You don't wanna be uh, losing those and or cutting into them. So. Now I'm gonna take this to my chop saw and just cut a half inch off. I marked this just a little shy of a half inch. I'm not gonna take off too, too much. And I'm making sure that all of this is even because it can move around like this. So I wanna make sure all of this is lined up. And I'm sure there's other ways that you can cut this, but I'm gonna use a chop saw that is what they recommend anyways. And a blade with the more teeth, the better. I would just recommend going slow and obviously use all the protection that you would use with a chop saw. Here we go. And you can put your caps back in for now. These are the brackets it comes with. It comes with two of these and some wood screws. This little curve right here goes towards the bottom. The top hooks in here. And this is how mine are gonna be installed. I'm gonna install screws right up into this trim. If you were putting them on the outside here, say you had a trimless window, or even if you have trim like this, you would wanna install them something like this. This, depending on the look you want and where you want them here, doing it this way is gonna make them pretty much tight to the top here. And it doesn't really matter. Of course, if you're right here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're not too far out this way. But on the inside, it doesn't really matter where you put them. I'm gonna put them about an inch away from the sides on both sides and just make them even and hold them tight to the window like so. Now, before I install this, because you're not gonna be able to see the way these brackets actually work, I wanna show you, I wanna try to explain it. Basically this, again, imagine this is going to the top of the window and this is going to the wall or the trim of the window. When you install these, 
there is a sticker that says window side. So you want to picture this is the window. You want to turn the shade like this and it's gonna hook on right here. And then as you fold this down like this, this bracket should snap into place. Just like that. And that's what's gonna hold it there. So it's gonna hold it away about this much. And then if you need to remove it, you pull the shade down and hold it out. And then you take a screwdriver and you pry this out right here. Now we can install the brackets. Window side goes in like this. Brackets look a little something like this on mine. You want to hook it on the top there first, like that. Same thing on the other side. And then tip it down. That one locked in. And that one locked in. Okay, so it's hung. Now to make sure you don't have an issue like this, what's happening is if you look under here, this bracket is hooked in where it's supposed to be. But on the other side, you can see it's caught some of the shade. So I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver in there and pop that bracket out and pull those shades out at the same time. Just make sure there's no shades in there. You don't really have to pop the bracket off completely, just kind of wiggle them out of there. Okay. Well, the shade comes with a handle that you can lock onto the bottom center here and hook on the top first with these two little tabs and then Push it into place. And now you have a handle. Wow. So fancy. Now this next step is completely optional. It is up to you, but you can see this shade is way longer than I need. And just for aesthetic reasons, I'm gonna shorten it because you can see now that it's fully extended, all these are pretty even. It gets a little smaller down here, but if I have them like that, all scrunched up at the bottom and they're bigger at the top, this is just a personal choice, but I'll show you how you can shorten them without even damaging the shade. Right here, you can take this cap off and you see there's a little channel in here and when you go like this you can remove this so if i pull this all the way down this and then i take this out this is going to try to spring back up because there's no weight on it i'm going to take this all the way out and then oh careful and then i'm going to say that i'm going to put it right here so I'm going to fold this up to about there. Let's see if this fits in the channel. This is going to work. That better? That's better. So that's how you cut these to width and you can adjust the length a little bit by not doing too much damage. The next part of this video, I'm gonna warn you, is a mess. I've never cut these to length, but I really wanted to, so I just went for it. It did not go well, but I am a firm believer that if you believe it, you can achieve it. So moral of the story is, these are cut down to where I wanted them, but it was not easy. 
So if you want to laugh, check this out. All you're going to need is a pair of scissors. These are mine. And I would suggest having another person help you with this. It's going to be a little tricky just by myself. I'm going to make it so there's about two or three before it gets all the way down. Something like that. So I'm going to rip it right here. Carefully. No going back now. And now I know which one I'm going to go to. So I'm going to pull this back. And there's a cord right here that I'm going to cut the string off of. I'm going to keep this plastic piece handy. Now, if I just let this string go, it's going to fall right through. So I have to find it up here. I have the string right here and I'm going to pull it through and do the same thing on the other side. Try not to let that string go up through. Pull this all the way out. To keep this from shooting up, I need to put some kind of weight on it. I'm just going to take my tape measure. And wrap it around here. This is some real hacky stuff, I tell you. This is why you need... Oh, crap. Look what happened. I let go of the string. That's why you need more than one person. So now I have to try and find this string and feed it through. So I'm going to have to take this down. And this is why this is totally up to you. It's a lot of work just for a little bit of aesthetics. So we'll leave it up to you. And now I'm going to take this off. Okay, I'm beginning to realize that this was a stupid idea. And this is why they don't have it in the instructions of how to shorten the length of these. So as you can see on this side, there is this white cap right here. See, there's a lot of tension on that. It's like a spring that helps this go up and down. I locked this string in here. I popped the white cap off of here. And now I have to try and get this string through and in here. And I've already ruined these blinds, so I need to either fix this or uh, they're junk. So there's no way I'm going to get the line like this with that. So what I'm going to try to do is take a piece of wire like this and push it through all those holes because there's holes in each of the blinds. I hope that this, yeah, I can go through. Maybe I can feed the string through like this. Aha, okay, I got the string through. There it is. Now, just want to hold it here. Leave this clamp strong enough so that it doesn't go through again. Eek. And then I want to go to this side and hopefully I can cut this and not have the same thing happen. And the only reason I'm cutting both of these before I tie each one off here is because there's a little piece of cardboard right in here that has a hole in it, I'm assuming, that I want to reuse. Look at that. Oh, it's plastic. I'm going to take off the rest of this blind right here and get this out of the way. Okay, this is no longer a thing. Now, 
I'm going to use this on the bottom like so. And I'm going to tie this up. Pull the string a little bit. That's one. I'm going to make sure it's about the same length as this. Wrap it around here a couple times, just in case. Do one, two. Ideally, this piece of plastic would go up higher, but I would have to mess with this cord that runs down. So hopefully this will work. I don't want to forget my little cap right here. All right. Let's see if it worked. Make sure my caps are back on. These things just fall out. Maybe glue them. Okay. Watch it in. Make sure my shades don't get caught. Okay. So I got it, but the weight is thrown off because I subtracted 4.6 ounces, but I'm gonna cheat and I have a 4.6 ounce piece of metal right here. Will that work? I beat you! Guys, don't cut these things down. There's a reason. But you really can if you want to. You can do it just like I did. <laughs>